That, but that was a that was a that was a fight that pretty much did it like revive like you that was a championship fight, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, that was a good body shot by Shannon. Yeah, I won the title. Yeah, my, the first I was my first title. I won the linear championship from him, but yeah. it was a tough fight. Is it even? Lawrence Lagan scores about 117 to 113, and Calvin Claxton has it 116 to 112 for the winner by majority decision and new linear heavyweight champion of the world, Shannon Green. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. The thing, I, 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 so you coming up young. Uh, the great Tyson. Right now he backs off from a sharp right uppercut to the body by Tyson. Again! That so far. Right hand. That should be just about it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The boy was serious, <laughs> yeah, man. Wasn't he? Yeah, like, like. <clears throat> so, were you, you, he, you're younger than him. Yes, brother. Yeah. Hey, Shannon's a beautiful person. He just want everybody to think that he's tough. If you, if you tell me he's a beautiful guy, a nice guy, <laughs> he start getting mad at you. So, so you seen that, and did that give you, like, oh, I, I can make it. Yeah, yeah, I can make it. I came trying to, you know. How old were you in 78? Sheesh, I was nine. Yeah, he was just nine when I really left. I mean, well, you know, I, didn't have, I never thought, honestly, that I'd be you a boxer. You never thought it? Nah, because, you know, I grew up only child. My mom spoiled me rotten, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went yeah, to yeah. private school. Yeah. You know what I mean? I went to Catholic high school for a year. Uh, so I was always living good, you know what I mean? I didn't have to do nothing, you know what I mean? <laughs> I always had hustle on me and try to get jobs and all that, but... When we lost our home when I was 13, yeah, yeah, that's when I had to like live from house to house. And that's when I, you know what I'm saying, I got serious in the boxing. But Mike was a motivation. So again, like I said, I wasn't expecting to be no boxer. But when I hit rock bottom by the time I was 16, 15, 16, I was getting in trouble, getting arrested. And um, I was in the streets. I was really in the streets. My pops was on the run. Uh, he wound up getting caught and going to prison and dying. So for me... I, my whole life changed, and that's when I became a hardened, more, more hardened person. And I got into boxing. Luckily, I had skills. You know what I mean? I, and I, I like to. People use boxing as an outlet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lifesaver. Life yeah. I'm, I'm from Marshall. Okay, Jefferson Marshall. Texas. You, yeah, you. But he beat George Foreman, so he ought to know Marshall. That's where George from. <laughs> yeah, okay. I met George. I walk up to him at the, and I never would have thought I'd have met George and Shannon Briggs. This is crazy <laughs> okay, for me. Thank you, because I met, <laughs> I met him at the uh, J C Penney's over there across mm -hmm. from where I had the store at. And I walk up to him. I'm like, dude, you. Look familiar, y'all. <laughs> oh, tripping man. on him because I even, you know, I'm I'm at home, so I'm like, what? Is, you know, I ain't really think about him. Right. But then it hit me when I seen people start asking for autographs. Okay, but okay. yeah, 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 but very cool cat, that's man. Yeah. Now, but that was a that was a that was a fight that pretty much did it like revive like you. That was a championship fight, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, that was a good body shot by Shannon. Yeah, I won the title. Yeah, my, the first I was my first title. I won the linear championship from him, but yeah. it was a tough fight. Is it even? Lawrence Lagan scores about one seventeen to one thirteen, and Calvin Claxton has it one sixteen to one twelve for the winner by majority decision and new linear heavyweight champion of the world, Shannon. Again, my, uh, my mom had died on my birthday, and the fight was, uh, you know, not, not too far after. And it was something wow. that um, I think kept me kept me up and kept me strong, and motivated me for the fight. But the opportunity that he gave me was life changing. I was at a down point in my life. Yeah, I, you know, I wound up getting a very close decision. Yeah, could have went anyway. Yeah, um, I got I won the title, and it was life changing. I can go down the rest of my life. And here I was a kid sleeping on the train a few years before that. Me and my mom, and now here we are. I was, you know, she had died, but I had won the title. Yeah. She gave me a, a sense of of worth, self worth. So, how old was you when she died? 25. 25. Yeah. yeah. That's 25. about how old I was when my mom died. So, yeah. yeah, about the same. But it was about 96 for me. Yeah, yeah it was 96. See? We, it, <laughs> like, like yeah. she died of cancer, though. Yeah. And, and it, it, she was 44. Yeah. So, my mom's yeah. is 51. She so, yeah. yeah, she had an overdose. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I read up on that too, man. I just like I said, it's just crazy, man, that how you 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 got to know about resilience to be in boxing, gotcha. man. You got to be able to bounce back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so when you came back from the weight, you know, losing the weight and getting back to your true self, you know, you thought to yourself and came to yourself. Yeah. Uh, that that right there had to be that's something else. 
People yeah. don't use, you know, a lot of people, they count themselves out and they, they don't come back, you know, but you was well, like. I had a lot of haters, so I was like. That helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had motivation. <laughs> a that lot that of people was happy to see me off my good foot. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? I got fat. It was like, oh, you'll never come back. I remember I had, I had you know, dreadlocks. I had locks. Yeah. I don't like to say dreadlocks. I had locks, locks. for like 27, 28 years. I just have blonde dreadlocks. You know? I yeah. saw that. Yeah. When did you cut it? Um, well, when I was going through my depression. Oh, okay. um the first time I tried cannabis, it was one day I, I my um a friend of mine who was a chef, he had left it at my house. I wasn't a smoker. I wind up uh hitting it like two 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 o'clock in the morning, two, three o'clock in the morning. And um I had an experience, man. I wow. just like I started crying and oh, I, wow. I just started I was four hundred and three pounds and I started crying. I was I was just I don't even know why. I just then I envisioned myself in shape. Traveling the world, I hadn't wow. been home for a while, and I was eating, eating crazy, and I envisioned myself traveling the world in shape, and I was like, "Damn!" And I was crying. I went in the house and I fell asleep, and when I woke up the next morning, I just walked in the bathroom with no, with no thought, and I just went in the bathroom and started shaving my head bald, oh, <laughs> without question. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And, um, oh. My wife walked in and she started crying. She's like, <laughs> "Oh my I, god!" I was wondering if you yeah. were mad at that time. <laughs> yeah, she yeah. started. She said, "You went crazier." <laughs> You know, she's like, you went crazy. And she cried. Yeah, no, I was like, nah, I'm okay, I'm okay. I was like, nah, everything is good. And she was like, well, I was like, no, I don't, I don't know what it is. But then it hit me. The blunt was outside, you know? Wow. So I went outside, I hit it a couple more times. And again, I felt for the first time in years, my imagination came back. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I had wow. some block in my brain where, That's I, my crazy. brain where I couldn't think about positive and seeing myself in a better place. And here I was now. So when I hit the tree, I was like, oh, snap. So right. I called my boy. I was like, yo, Jerome, get over here. <laughs> and that's yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.